welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about our big relay board. There's a lot of connectors. We had about four or five of these wiring harnesses coming out. Finally got everything disconnected. Um, everything I don't need is gonna get ripped out. Everything that I need, I'm gonna reuse the wiring harness. But before I get into this and rip this apart, I think I'll show you how they had it kind of wired and then what we plan on using. So, the back side, all the main connectors coming out and then just a wire chase for like my big positive and negatives coming in. Um, just some other random stuff they had going through there. We'll keep most of that. Um, I'm gonna rework most of the wiring harnesses and reuse them. It's all good mil spec connectors. I might as well keep using the good stuff. The boards themselves, it's not just one big board. So there's about 20 of these boards inside of the panel. Again, I know it looks really complicated, but it's not too bad. Essentially just a road rescue circuit board where they have an integrated fuse or circuit breaker and then just an integrated normal automotive relay. So we'll go over this a little bit more later on. But yeah, so we're gonna try to keep most of the relays in here. I can repurpose a lot of them. We're gonna need stuff for water pumps and everything. So I'll keep most of that. We'll go through this board a little bit closer and yeah, kind of explain everything. All right, let's dive into this thing. So on this side, have all, where all the connectors come in, a little pass through. We're gonna save most of those. The circuit breakers, again, all these are coming out. Don't need any of those anymore. We're gonna put spade fuses in. We're gonna keep these contactors. So it's mainly 12 volts constant, a keyed 12 volt contactor. And then this one is, when I flick a switch on the dash, I can flick another set of circuit breakers on. That's just a, a relay panel for some of the strobes. That's gonna get deleted. Uh, this is a Waylon strobe controller. We're probably gonna use that. We're gonna repurpose the lights, take the red shades off and put ambers on. And then just a battery isolator for medical equipment. Again, we're, we're gonna rip that out. We don't need that. The terminal strip up top, probably gonna delete that. And then if I need it, this is a solid state timer. So if I need to keep that, I will, but if not, it's gonna get deleted also. And then the plan is gonna split it in half, put half of it as 120, and then keep the other half 12 volts. So keep everything clean, put a cover on it, and you shouldn't need to be in here unless we have a fault somewhere, so. All right, so now you've seen inside the board kind of what the plan is. I've been itching for quite a while to be ripping into this thing, just been staring at it and kind of going through, tugging on stuff, seeing what everything does, so. Let's get to it. I got it all out. I just made a lot of work for myself. <laughs> yep. So a couple things we found, like this whole, this whole one harness, that's just gonna come right out, so. Maybe I messed up, I don't know. This is gonna take a lot longer than I thought. So, here's some of the relay boards. Again, we're gonna keep some of them, not the, not the other. <laughs> yeah, and then just a bunch of extra stuff. Probably sell some of it, keep some of the spares. Most of that I'm not gonna use, so. The plan. What is my plan? You can kinda see. This section over, I'm gonna eventually like cut the box in half, make that 120 volts, and only use some of this. Most of this is just gonna get wound up and left in the box as a spare wire. I really don't need most of it. There's only a few wires that I actually tagged and actually need. So 
It looks very daunting right now. And again, even this, most of this, I don't actually need, so. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna straighten these out so it looks a little bit nicer. These will be all kind of nice and coils, and then I'll kind of explain a little bit further from what I'm gonna do from there. All right, got it all cleaned up. And I mean, really, if you look hard enough, you can't even tell that I even did anything. Looks factory to me. But most of it's cleaned up now. They're all in their individual sets now. So if you want to start folding stuff back and actually working on it, it's not too bad. Yeah, so the main thing left is just kind of planning what I actually want to keep, what I'm going to need to keep, um, and then buying some equipment to actually like have everything laid out nicely. Seeing as I'm not going to use most of the stuff, I got to buy some, some stuff. And before I do too much wiring in here, I got to do the 120 volt panel cut. So I think next is going to be pull all these completely out of the panel and start cutting the aluminum and uh, welding the new aluminum in. So we'll get on that. Yes.